Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so very much for uh, joining us for the MIT CBIQ Symposium the 15th year. And uh, we're happy that uh, it has come to a successful conclusion. For the next three months, I'm going to study each of the session. It's all recorded uh, and will be in CBIQ channel. The sponsors will have the recordings that they can use for a while, but this becomes a knowledge will be open to the public as well as yourself. So uh, it's a, a body of knowledge. I never know that I am so ignorant about the field. It's moving so fast. Having said that, I know there are people who will be asking about what about next year? So Dr. Talbot, the moderator asked me to say it first uh, because uh, many people are asking which dates we're gonna have and at where. So let me tell you the good news. The good news is I, submitted my resignation to my boss and he said, permission denied. So I will have to do it again next year because there's a saying that when it's come to the extremely uh, climax that's so, so well done, you ought to quit. So we will have to do it again next year. And so the only question left is what the venue because next year it will be on MIT campus, uh, physically as well as virtual. Uh, like this year. So we are expecting many, many people to show up. MIT space, as you know, it's tough to, to find and I'm in the process of doing that. So I don't have an answer whether it's going to be June or July or August. Uh, so, and I don't have a, a decision to tell you as to which place, whether it's going to be small school or computer science or media lab, but we will do it uh, in 2022. And, uh, 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 we need to rethink how to manage this 110% growth uh, up to 200, 2000, more than 2,000. And next year, we're expecting if we go big, uh, that we may go up to 3,500 or 4,000 people. So uh, I'm in the process of restructure, redesign, rethink uh, the whole process. So by end of August, we should have plan A to show it to you. Back to you, John. Okay, thank you, Rich. Uh, well, I would say by any measure, this year has been phenomenally successful. I, I, I've, I've been to the, every one of these, I think, since you started it. And this is a quantum leap over everything else that's been done. I, and, and I think a lot of people really need credit for that. I, I'm going to ask Robert Lutton if he would uh, start his screen share. And uh, I think we really need to recognize these people. Yeah, so uh, MVP team, could you just uh, make me uh, uh, thank you, share my screen. Uh, so just for the people out there that uh, are camera shy, uh, this is your chance to come on and uh, show us your, turn on your camera and show us who you are. So go ahead and do that while I just work out on my screen here. All right, so I prepared a couple of slides. John asked me to open up and just do some closing remarks from the symposium. So uh, you've got a whole team here that's gonna go through this. I'm gonna go through this quite fast. I'm a fast talker, so forgive me on that. So 62 country, uh, countries have participated in the symposium. Um, as John says, a quantum leap, uh, we've gone global. We certainly want to uh, figure out how we can actually do this again next year. Uh, both in uh, the MIT uh, facilities and live stream it. So we won't forget what we've actually done here. So we actually like this platform. Uh, so you may see a lot of this platform. So going on to the next one. Um, yeah, Rich was right. Uh, you know, we had last year, we had just over a thousand virtual attendees uh, from 30 odd countries. Uh, so uh, this year we have, uh, we have doubled that. Um, I don't know what we'll get to next year. Uh, so those numbers we'll have to figure out, but uh, we certainly hope that everyone that has registered today will come back and either be some kind of virtual or some kind of uh, live environment at MIT. So there's our stats, they're on the dashboard. Uh, so uh, on the MIT CBIQ uh, symposium site. Uh, we used a new platform uh, this year. Uh, apologies with a few. Not many, a few hiccups on the audio, uh, on the track swapping, uh, but uh, by and large, uh, we are absolutely thrilled with the approach 
that we uh, had with this uh, Hoover platform. So just some uh, some metrics. Uh, I'm sure our sponsors are going to be happy for 300,000 sponsor oh, impressions, right? Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. So that should be, uh, you know, a sponsor to delight. I would like to thank our uh, our people who participated in the uh, community. Uh, you can see the top ranking folks there, and there's some other uh, features, some community boards, messages, some photos, uh, some meetups. So next year we we will use this live as well. So we'll see what we what fun we can have out of that. It goes without saying that we could not host an event like this without the support of our partners uh, and our valued sponsors. I won't go through all the names. I think we've gone through it enough, but we thank them. We thank them from the bottom of our hearts. However, there are some other people we do want to thank out. Uh, so we could not, uh, and John, uh, the supporting team, the MIT video production team did an outstanding job. So what I'd like to do is just give these guys a round of applause. So for, for their dedication, hard work, and making this all look simple, Rob, uh, for leading the uh, choreographing and getting everyone taken care of, Kevin, for doing all the back-end work, for the actual uh, people that were monitoring the individual sessions, Rod, Tom, Wes, Tom, uh, White, and Barry, we thank you very much indeed from the bottom of our hearts. You guys did an awesome job. I'm not finished yet. Uh, we, Rich's team, the back end team, you would not believe that Gertrude just had a baby three weeks ago and she is there at the screen. We've got a new CDO in the making along with Ashley, along with Pamela and Mayeth who are in the Philippines, who did step up to the plate and, uh, you know, uh, be uh, at the symposium at all ours. So it's a big thank to Rich and his supporting team that made this symposium the best that it's ever been. In addition, yes, Rich and yes, myself, we uh, work tirelessly to work and serve the community, but also it goes without saying that Doug Laney and Steve Wanamaker also did an awesome job. We'd like to thank them for their help. Uh, the program committee team members, some of them were speakers, uh, some of them were, were helped us get the right speakers. Uh, this event could not be the success it is without our program committee members. You guys have our admiration and support, and we thank you all. Uh, you have been, you have seen, you have heard our track producers, Peter, Wu Young, Wayne, Derek, and Carl, now household names. We thank you. We knew it was a tough job. Uh, but you guys, you guys made it look simple. If there was a hiccup, you guys were gracious. You were very supportive. And we just have to do a big thank you to all our team out there. Uh, moving on, uh, we did have support from our partners. Uh, I've mentioned that before. We did do something a little bit funny with the commercials. Uh, we thank you for your support. We would like to announce we did a last minute drawing for a digital prize. Uh, Angelica uh, Rana from uh, Benorte. Uh, you voted yesterday at 3, uh, 1.02 p.m. Uh, you voted for SAP. That was your SEP commercial. Uh, so we're going to give you a $200 U.S. digital gift card. Uh, we'll see you next year for more prizes to be uh, awarded. However, we had <laughs> a round of applause there for that. Uh, however, we would also like to thank Mick. So a lot of people don't know, but Mick was our presenter at the 4.30 Eastern time slot. He was actually doing it from Japan. It was 4.30 his time. He really does get the, uh, the top award for our special thanks for getting up at 4.30 a.m. to present to our data leaders and communities. Mick, a special thanks to us. Uh, Robert- $250. There yeah, you go. Uh, before we talk about the European, I, I would like to say that uh, in my opinion, Robert Lutton was the real linchpin of this uh, symposium. He really brought everything together and really made it happen. And uh, you really deserve uh, credit for that. Thank you. Thank you, John. I second Thank you. that. Second that. Thank you, Maria. Yes, yes. Bring a tear to my eye. Uh, I do this for the fun, uh, fun of this. And uh, it is a great community. It really is. It is my pleasure to work with uh, Rich, Derek, Carl, Peter, Wu Young, Wayne, Maria, uh, Dr. Halbert, uh, uh, the list could go on. Jason, uh, you know, Justin, 
uh, the MVP team. Anyway, I, I won't take up my time. I will just say thank you very much indeed. Look forward to 2022. Uh, and Robert Bate, you're going to talk about this slide. Thank you, myself. Uh, hello and welcome, everyone. We're uh, excited to talk about uh, the upcoming European Symposium planned in September of 2022. Uh, we're going to be uh, building, we've already have uh, on board a, um, a sponsor in PricewaterhouseCoopers, there'll be others, but we want to bring the attention and focus to the European issues specifically uh, and run the conference in that time zone uh, so that people will understand uh, the issues and debate those topics that are of importance within Europe. So uh, that, just briefly to say that and to say good night, uh, bon nuit, uh, bene notte, uh, good night, good nacht, and nasta. That's about five European languages I know. Don't forget boy, no, <laughs> yeah. yeah, for our global community, uh, it has been great. So uh, I know, John, you wanted to kind of open this up to town hall media. I don't know if you've got a couple of slides that you want to share as well, but I will pass it over to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I have a couple of slides and then I think we want to do a discussion here. So, yep. uh, let me, um, so Rich had his say. I'm, I'm sort of the historian. John, do you have a slide in there about the European summit? I, I didn't see it come on the screen, so I was just curious. I saw it. Uh, oh, you I did? Was in, in Roberts, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, John. Thanks, John. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry I deleted mine because Robert was showing. So, uh, I'm sort of the historian, I guess. I did this for Rich back in 2014, and it's a it's a word cloud from all of the presentations. And I just thought it was interesting to see how this has evolved over time. Of course, it was all about information quality and big data was more technical around, you can see standardization of data, privacy was still an issue, governance was kind of emerging. And then when you look at 2015, you see, well, now they start talking about CDOs and about information quality and information value and governance was sort of the big uh, issue then in the 2015. Uh, there was some talk about business, but you can see a lot of talk about stewardship and uh, the enterprise. Uh, and then we go to 2016, and that was the huge emphasis on the CDO role. It was really still a lot of big data. There was a lot of talk about uh, management now, talking about some of the business issues. And um, I thought it was interesting, if you look at this, compared to what we talked about the last three days, you can see it has really taken a turn. It's really taken a turn toward business, uh, transformation, strategy, uh, building, sharing, culture change, all of these issues that, that really now are, are more in the, in the pocket of, uh, you know, how we take and grow businesses, how we create value out of data. So I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, and, and so just my own reflection, some of the underlying themes that are more, uh, you know, Rich always talks about, you know, when you take metrics, there's objective ones, the word cloud, but then they're subjective. And these are just my subjective. I thought in, in the, at least in all of the, the presentations I went to, there was this huge passion for data. Uh, for data governance, for data quality, for um, value from data about moving things forward. I thought there was also a lot of honesty about, you know, people, I went to a lot of talks and, you know, hey, this is really hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it, it takes a lot of work to do these things. We don't have magic solutions. And I see a lot of things maturing. Uh, we're, we're beginning to really evolve a whole set of best practices. Uh, around data. And uh, I was really touched the appreciation for Larry English and, and others and just the goodwill that I saw here, people really willing to help each other. So that's sort of my take on it. And with that, I would like to uh, stop sharing and
just turn it over to the group that's here and get their thoughts on um, what they thought about the symposium and their suggestions and comments about how we might improve it or what we might do next year. So with that, I'm going to open it up. We have 150 people. Okay. Well, that'll give everybody a second. And, and just as an <laughs> FYI, the 150 people, you guys get to help us uh, structure 2022. Yeah. So for those that stayed, you know, and I know it's late at night, you guys get to help us. What would you like to see in 2022? Hands are standing by. Yeah, I, I think it was very well uh, put together. Um, I did see that emphasis, a lot of uh, stuff about business, but, it, but it's interesting um, that governance is still really the um, underlying focus. I, I, I stopped in some sessions and stuff with anal uh, analytics, but it looks like right now, uh, people are at a place where they're trying to get the most value out of data. So I think you guys did a good job. And that's what I'm hearing too as well um, in the industry. People are really trying their best to get values out, out of data. Uh, they have you have companies in one or two evolutions from what they are now going back to the table and rethinking what they did in, in terms of data management so i think this was very insightful and would be insightful for a lot of companies so if you've got a if you've got a comment it might be good to either raise a hand or raise your hand on the participant side go on to that and just go ahead and raise your hand i will thank you uh, gregory uh, i will come back and just say the way that we structure the symposium there's three days, right? So day one is usually a business track. So we try and talk about the business value. Day two is best practices, like practical stuff in the technologies and data quality, data governance and, and things like that. And day three is leading edge technology. So we've done that over the last three or four years. It seems to have held well. However, if there's any kind of thoughts to maybe sort of having more of an emphasis other than those three major themes. I mean, we can get into sub themes, but basically business day one, uh, technical learning day two, and uh, leading edge, cutting edge, bleeding edge in day three is how we've kind of structured so people know what to actually expect. Um, that's how we've originally uh, come to the, the current method of how we uh, categorize things. And hey, I Robert. If, yes, uh, Maria. Yeah, so I, first of all, what I would add is I, I always say that this symposium is the best symposium that there is. I've always said it, said it for years. And even the, in this digital virtual mode, I still felt like I was connected. And I, and I have to commend also the tool that you used. Um, I have to experience a lot of different tools when I have to right. with what I do. And this WOBA tool was really great. So great selection. I think it worked, you know, well. It was a good way. As a speaker, you got a lot of insights um, and a lot of capability to be able to collaborate before, during, and after. So I think that also helped with the community uh, and making that as collaborative as possible. And I guess what I would want for next year is to see real people. You know. <laughs> I, th I think we all would do that. Real and, hey, people in a real setting. Exactly. MIT campus. By the way, I'm scrolling through. When I get to page three, four, uh, three and four and five, you guys have not turned your camera on. Dan, I don't see your camera on. Come on, guys. Let's get the camera on. Let's let's uh, let's integrate. Let's be human. Uh, Gre George, I saw you had a hand up earlier. So do you want to just say something? Sure. Uh, I come to this. Uh by virtue of not being a CDO, a data management person, or active within a major US uh, organization. So my focus uh, was particularly on two things. Number one, uh, the manner in which improved uh, data management and attainment of information quality is being handled today, regardless of whether the organization has a CDO or not. And that logically took me to where I've been most recently working, which is Poland. And uh, Poland is strong on data uh, management, IT applications, but 
uh, they really don't have a CDO identity at this point. So I think it would be very interesting in your next uh, episode to look at how do you transition in organizations and in countries from not having a CDO, but improving data management and information quality in the way that has been suggested by your many uh, presentations. Uh, and how do you move that uh, towards actually having a CDO identity and culture? I have an answer for that, George. Sure. Uh, so we do not have a global country CDO ambassador for Poland yet. So we should assign one who can help grow that local presence and bring awareness and the media coverage and press and success and hold events uh, to, that, uh, to that area. So we will be happy to work with you and Frank and the team uh, to put a person I, you know, I'm Irish, I'll say our man, but uh, it is our person in Poland that can be a uh, country CDO ambassador. Sound like a good thing? Yeah, in fact, we've started doing that. Uh, and uh, however, still, I think the issue of how do you transition in organizations and in countries where the CDO identity and culture doesn't exist, from an organization that's striving to improve its data management yep. to one who sees the advantage and what that advantage is of having a CDO. Point I taken. Uh, yep. one, one thing I was thinking, Robert, on that question, and hey, I mean, it's, it's just, uh, it's education, uh, George, I think is uh, the real opportunity there for the executive leaders who are trying to drive you know more value out of the organization and you know get leaner and uh you know get more profitable um and you know as a i'm the editorial board chair for the cdo magazine which supports that global cdo ambassador network we've been really working on curating a c-suite uh voice of the c-suite leader uh track for the publication which um has um you know ceo xo leaders speaking about the value of their commitment and investments and strategies around data. So that might be a great uh, you know, platform just to share some information and ideas from the voice of uh, you know, peer level folks that could be helpful. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we even uh, curated the publication and uh, partnership with ISCDO and the, CD and the symposium program. So that's one place where I think uh, you might be able to you know, start to help you know, get people exposed on a you know, consistent basis to some content. There, there are some great interviews, actually. There, there, uh, there are interviews of those leaders, actually, in uh, short snippets out there. So just one option that could be Mark, helped. thank you indeed. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Your, your support, unwavering support, is great. Anyone else uh, want to put raise a hand up? Scroll through. I see you, Salima. I see you. I see Robert Abate. I see Carl, Ryan Smith, uh, Richard. So anyone else, uh, you can unmute. Just say hello. Hello. Hello, Sikar. Yes, Sikar. Yes. yes. First of all, thank you very much for the great opportunity. And I have enjoyed each and every session. Um, I'd like to continue to see how business can leverage the data to add more value to the business. That should be our actually core actually uh, theme because that's what it is lacking in each and every organization because every organization has a lot of data. They're not using it. And I would suggest that I think we should continue to expand the audience's attendees attended this by reaching out to every company's, not only the CDOs, I think we should reach out to CFOs, CEOs, and CIOs through local chapters or actually uh, um, whatever the actually organization we can choose, I think we should reach out to them to maximize the benefit. I mean, what they are missing, and because this, this is a oh, great absolutely. miss, a great miss by the every company post. So absolutely. um yeah. Most of the time, I mean, the data is being treated only as a technology or CAO uh, work, actually. It is more than CAO. It is about the strategic initiative. So uh, that is a few cents uh, from my side. Thank you. Sakar, absolutely. I see some other raised hands here. So I'm going to go and go in order that I see them. Amir, are you online? Do you have, uh, I see your hand up, Amir. Uh, thank you, Robert. Uh, great event, fantastic event. My first Ooh. time. I appreciate the invitation. Hey, I hope it's not going to be your last time. Come no, on, not. I want to see not you in Boston. Right? Definitely, I would love to be there. A uh, couple of things I would uh, 
say is one thing, great, great, great topic to push forward with data uh, monetization. Uh, very crucial topic. I agree with Shikhar that the missing piece here are the additional partners within enterprises the CDOs have to work with um, to, to bring the data monetization strategies to life. The, the one thing I would love to see more dialogue about is the last mile. Uh, this may be a bad word to use in this room, but Harvard Business Reviews. Uh, oh, recent... don't say that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the well, studies show like about 45% of the executive or enterprises are still trying to figure out what to do with their data. They're aiming for to find use cases. The remaining 25% are just getting into the pilot phases in AI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so untapped opportunity there, right? And 90% of initiatives fail to deliver the promise. Um, so that's where the, the, the cost of failure is very high in our sector. And would love to see some additional dialogue going forward in how do we make the promise of data and an AI more successful. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Appreciate it. Uh, make sure to be here next year. Brian, I see your hand is up, Brian. Brian Randalls. Yeah, hey, thanks, Robert. Hey, this is uh, this is my second year. Both of my attendees have been uh, in virtual. So uh, I just next pass year, off to next this. Next year, next year. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Totally excited to see people in person, but my hat goes off to you in terms of everybody in terms of the back room and making this seamless. It's really flawless in how it's carried out. The, the thing I wanted to add was, you know, Robert, you mentioned too, a couple other folks talked about, specifically, Robert, you talked about three pillars, right? The business, the technology, yep. kind of the key components. I think the one thing that really helps kind of leap things into the next area of where we're talking about value and business involvement is really that next step with culture. Um, kind of bridging the gap across all of those pillars, if you will, and talking about how culture can really influence that and the awareness to the business and kind of the linkage of those across. So I think if there was an avenue to maybe tap that a little bit more and look at capabilities or opportunities, I should say, Perfect. where we could, we, could, we could leverage that. The age of culture. I, I love it. I love yeah, it. Uh, it's evolving on its own. Yeah, thank it you. Is. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Uh, Ling's, uh, Ling, I Ling want, uh, Xiang. Yeah, Ling Xiang. Xiang. Well, Ling, help me out me here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time attending this event. First, uh, first time attending. Yes. Well done, Ling. Um, I'm you? actually I'm actually MIT alum, a slow right. alum. So right. I I feel such a sense of MIT. Family. Family, community, yes. we, we love you. We love <laughs> the you already. MIT DNA, rigorous, yes. down to earth, and a focus on community. This is the first conference I go to. There is a postmortem of attending. Yeah, great, great. <laughs> yes, and you get you get to help shape it. So yeah, absolutely. So yes. What I want to share is that um, there's I I actually built a data, a data catalog at a large enterprise company. Yep. And I've been in the BI space for a long time, analytics and BI space. Yeah. So when um, we had interesting conversation in my company, um, we, we are building data catalog. The executive is saying, you are solving a real problem, but will company pay for it? I think the, the attendees of this conference kind of manifest. There are two types of companies. The companies who have CDOs who care about data, and they tend to be regulated. And there's the rest of the companies who really don't give that much attention to data, data quality, yep. because it's a problem that has no ownership. Right. It's a leadership problem. I think as a community, there's probably needs to be more outreach and education to the companies who talks about data governance, but really not doing anything about governance and articulating the value to them and also make it easy. I think a lot of it has to be people like us who building tools, how to make it easy. So there is no owner of to yeah. make that makes data governance uh, almost like a dirty word. So yes, no, we, yes, we believe it. Share, there's a lot to be done. Our, it's a yeah, real the, problem, the, the, but it really needs attention. You know what? Uh, after I go to Salima, I'll come back because no one else has raised a hand. I'll come back and tell you how we think we're going to solve that. Okay, so, Salima, uh, thank you very much indeed uh, for waiting in there. I see your hand up. Let me give you the floor. Sure. I just wanted to say great job to everybody. I thought it was absolutely fantastic this year. It's hard being virtual. I think WOVA was a great uh, collaboration tool. Um, I think that the uh, the chats 
were interesting and the Q and A <laughs> was phenomenal. Um, I just think everything went. We couldn't have really asked for it to go better than than what it did. Um, I wanted to touch. I think it was Amir who said um, around the CDOs and use cases. I definitely think as we look at next year, uh, something that would be really beneficial is kind of thinking through what was a business problem that you had and how did you use some component of data to solve that. And I think hearing from the CDOs themselves on you know how their organization used a combination of people, process, and technology to solve those problems and then the value that it created. Um, you know, this was something that we talked about, you know, back in 2008, 2009, right? When with the financial services industry and how yep. we could learn from each other's mistakes and um, and not make this, not make as many uh, challenges on ourselves by learning from the mistakes of others. So uh, definitely a, a growth opportunity, something uh, we can talk to the Accentures and PWCs and some of the uh, consulting firms about as well, maybe, you know, bringing more of that focus to, you know, how we actually gained value out of data. Because I think going back to the argument about, you know, if you don't have a CDO in your organization, you know, how can you show um, the role, maybe even the evolution of the CDO, right? I mean, the role of the CDO itself has changed so yep. much in the last 10 years, right? From, um, so I just think that there's, uh, there's definitely similar to the, the, the word, uh, the word board, you know, the word cloud, um, the, the kind of the roles and responsibilities of the CDO has changed so much. So just great job, everybody. And love the collaboration and just got to keep it going throughout the year for sure. We, we will do just to, before I go to the next person uh, and thank you, uh, Salima, just let me tell you that uh, Rich and I and the, the executive team uh, are talking about, hey, Rich, I see you there, are talking about maybe on day one, because it's all business, that will maybe have an executive track. And so some of the topics that you're talking about, you know, partnership, uh, partnering with the, uh, the C team, may be a good idea for the track. Uh, so that is being uh, discussed and worked on. Uh, Rich, do you want to comment on that? Um, not on that, but I have a different thing. Uh, people <laughs> asking whether they can get a slide. And yes. I've been anticipating that for many years. Every year people ask that question. Uh, I have some great news for you. You can actually get a draft proceedings for free. Uh, Dr. Uyong Chung and Renit and Bob Lin in his department that we did not air, actually been busy in the basement creating the proceedings. And I've been asking Uyong to, uh, to create a, a link to send to you. And so that will be available. I'll task Pamina or, or Gertrude to send to all the attendees. It will be available for two weeks for you to download for free. After that, we'll put in password for $150 to pay Renit and Bablin for their hard work. And behind them, of course, there's someone, a gentleman called Richard Snyder helping Uyong. Richard, thank you for showing up. So it's a pleasure, so Richard, thank you that I could be here. Yep. So thank you, guys. Listen, I, I do know that it is at ten after six on Eastern Standard Time. I do know it is getting late. There are a couple of other people. We will stay on to make sure that we hear everyone. Uh, so I think the next person who had their uh, hand raised was you, Kathy Chang. If I sound, if I said that correctly. Uh, perfectly. Um... Oh. It was a lucky guess. Sorry about that. You go ahead. No problem. Uh, your thoughts. I'm also an MIT alum and I happen to have attended the 2007 one. And oh, that's a big difference, right? Attended. That is a big difference from a 2007 one, yeah? And uh, last year, 2021 virtually, and, and this year I, 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 um, I didn't really have uh, attendance in many of the sessions I look I do look forward to the follow-up but I I think a couple of points that were really well captured by Salima and others um, I'm also in alignment with uh, some kind of exact executive track I think the the way the conference currently has a different industry um, focus is very very good and having an executive focus um, can can be very intriguing um, uh, I'm uh, another point that Salima made in terms of CDO 
being a role that's been evolving. The whole field of data has been evolving. And um, I'm a co-author for the book, How to Lead in Data Science. And the, the, the field has just changed so much in the last 10 plus years. And it's, um, um, it, it's this kind of conferences that brings that um, development really to the surface and give people an opportunity to uh, make it even uh, make it even more inclusive and more um, um, ha, ha, what's the best word to, to capture this but to, to make it not only um, bring the uh, bring the different involvement to the surface but also uh, make it inclusive as well because there are others that may, may not be mainstream if you will that um, we, we definitely we hear you. We hear you loud and clear. So we want we want this to be a global phenomenon. Data, and we are in the right community. We are leading the charge for data. So thank you for your support, and we look forward to hearing back from you. Rich, did you want to say something? Yes, I just want to respond to that and say we do have a MIT CDO IQ Senior Executive Forum. Uh, right now we are uh, cooking it, and we'd love to do that. But I think it will be a separate event from the MIT CDO IQ symposium. Uh, so more uh, more yes. to come on. Just just make sure you register for the uh, newsletter that we publish uh, monthly. Uh, so with that, I do know that uh, you know I appreciate everyone staying in here. I see another hand, uh, James, 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 <laughs> Esselgraf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to butcher that, James. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just say, I'll shout James. James with his hand up. So, James. No, that's all right. I was an instructor in the military for years, and it was just E. It was Sergeant E. So, oh, good. There you go, me. Sergeant E. Thank it's you for your service. My, my mom was a teacher. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure. Um, so, uh, a, a couple of notes. Um, this is my second, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in 3D next year, as my boss yeah. says. Um, uh, a couple of things I wanted to, to hit on was one was the mission or the business outcome statement um, or and or the mission outcome statement. I think a, a focus in that area, um, I think would be uh, very helpful as well as um, somebody, I think it was Brian was mentioning culture. Um, we yes. had a couple of really good sessions on data literacy, but I think kind of those two go hand in hand. Um, I, I see, especially in, you know, uh, after the event-based legislation rolled out in America, that a lot of the federal agencies are really getting after and there's a real problem or opportunity really related to getting people um, excited about data and the culture associated with that and we all know change is difficult but i think uh seeing more and more ex uh, discussions around culture and data literacy i think will be very very helpful in the coming years thank you uh sergeant james uh good feedback uh don't mind me moving on to lester appreciate it lester that's Hello, good. thank you very Hello. much. Um, Lester Carcamo from Era Energy in California. Um, watching the the videos pretty early, four in the morning for me. I know. But, I do apologize. I do apologize. I just wish that we could all make it the one time zone. But say, Livy, <laughs> uh, what's your uh, what's your uh, input, Lester? How would you like to see the symposium get better? Um, I wish to see uh, for the next one uh, research on models on uh, how it has uh, uh, worked, how it has, uh, what has happened on the practice. Research uh, on, I missed the last, research on, do you say morals? Models. Models, models. okay, yeah, 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 financial models, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but that's what I, uh, I learned when I read uh, research, that something has practice, have applied, and they have collected statistical information, and then they uh, lean to conclusions on something new and how to continue with the research. So that's something that uh, um, I will appreciate. But this year, I have learned many good things that I'm taking to my business, to my company. Um, I am inspired by how the silos impact so much. Um, excellent, excellent. Inspired by data ops, inspired by data catalogs. And the best of all, I know who to contact. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, that, that is so good to hear. Just as an FYI, uh, Lester, uh, one of the core foundational principles of the symposium is that we treat everyone like family. So we have got the partners are like family. The attendees are like family. Mm -hmm. The academia are like family. And I would like uh, to reach out to my academia uh, folks, uh, Jim, Wu Young, Rich, uh, Maria, 
you have heard the call for research on models. So if you've got something that may help as a, an abstract, please uh, let us go uh, and do that. So, and, uh, and Ling and, and everyone else has got maybe some kind of aspect on that. You know, we can't do it all on that, but just know that there is a, a respect that we do want to make sure that academia needs to be part of this conference. It's the future of what is coming down the pipe. Does that sound good, Lester? Yes, before I go, shout out to my dear professor, Dr. Talbot. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Uh, everyone knows Dr. Talbert. Uh, absolutely. Shout out to, to John. So thank hey, you. Hey, hey, Robert, I just wanted to add also, because I know that you're going to have a lot of questions and good feedback. Um, the chat, we, we can save the chat off. And if everybody, you know, wants to put yes. your feedback or thank your you. ideas or your comments into the chat, um, just in case you don't get a chance to ask, ask it, that would be great because so, then we can save the chat and we have all that input and feedback. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, thank you, Mark. So if, you, if you're a little bit camera shy and you don't want to put your two cents in, uh, it's taken me years to get over my shyness. I'm still introvert at heart. But uh, if you have any suggestions, put them into the chat box. Uh, and then Barry and the MVP team, are we going to be able to copy that chat box? Uh, yeah, hey, Robert, you can just save it. It's easy. The three dots next to the uh, input on the bottom, if you just click that and click save chat, anybody can save the chat. Perfect, so, perfect. I'll yeah. do that. I'll do it. Okay. All yeah. right. So so moving on, the next person up, and, I, and again, uh, we'll stay on as long as you want to stay on. Mark Mullins, uh, you got your hand raised. Mark. Hey, Robert, can you hear me okay? I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, and I can see you too. Hey. Oh, good. I, well, I had two two uh, two systems on, so I, I just wanted to say thank you. I think the team's done a great job. I've participated several times in person and through virtual, and um, have learned a lot again. And um, you know, got to go through CDO one uh, back in November 2019, right before yeah. kind of the whole COVID pandemic. The thing that I'd maybe like to see a focus on, and this is maybe a little ironic, um, but is how as a CDO, we can deliver training. So um, what I mean by that is it, every one of the presentations that I listen to, there's a lot of discussion about training the organization. Yep. And I know there's a lot of different companies that train on data stewardship and different principles around data management. There's university programs, there's private companies, there's symposiums like this. Yep. What I'm kind of thinking about is, um, you know, inviting some of those kinds of companies to the symposium so we expand kind of awareness of how we can deliver training. And so I think of um, in the security world, uh, there's a company, for instance, called uh, No Before, and there's a Forrester report called Security Awareness and Training Solutions. And the companies buy that solution to be able to train their ent yep. entire organization on security. I would love to see something like that someday for data. So we have uh, you know, solutions that we could um, subscribe to. And if I need to a, train a thousand people in my bank on some of the basics around um, you know, data quality or their role in terms of data, um, how, how they help to, you know, support our strategies as a CDO. Um, it would be an interesting sort of topic, I think, to bring forward in this group. We can, and, certainly, um, we can certainly put it out there. I do know that there are several organizations that do offer various uh, types of data literacy training, data quality training, things like that. Yeah. I don't want to kind of sort of, uh, you know, water down this particular discussion, but we'll certainly take it as a potential topic, okay? All right, thank you. Hey, Robert, I think a shout out is due to the whole MIT MVT team. This yes. conference went off without a hitch and the WOVA platform, I mean, they really did a phenomenal job and I, I think they deserve a round for, for the work these guys did. Yes, they, they certainly did. They certainly did. Hey, did you not get, were you not on my first part of the presentation where I thanked them individually? Over here. So, <laughs> but but it's always good to thank them again. So uh, let me just go through uh, now again. Uh, our friend in South Africa, uh, that is uh, A U I Joe B. I'm Irish, guys. Like that's the president. Yeah, the, yeah. The, it's not the president of South Africa, but you know, our friend in South Africa. Where are you? He's there. He's got his hand up. Okay. Yes, I see you. Yes, uh, no. you, uh, 
Uh, the ambassador, yes. So go ahead. Hi. Uh, hey. I'm actually from Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria, thank you. And listen, are we yeah, congratulations to you guys. You did a wonderful job. In fact, um, all the participants from Nigeria were so glad to be part of uh, this year's uh, symposium. It will be our pleasure to mobilize professionals across Africa next year. And I, I, I must confess, we really learned a lot and uh, we were able to network. You know, we connected with a number of professionals in different countries great. across the globe. And great. it's the experience is simply wonderful. A great event, congratulations. On behalf of all the African representatives, I want to thank you once again. And I look forward to working with you guys in promoting data management in Africa as um, we plan for 2022. Thank you. Well, let me say from the MIT CUIQ Symposium on all of us, thank you. A virtual hug from all of us to you. And we look forward to seeing you in Boston next year. Thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. So thanks, guys. Uh, listen, just in FYI, I'm just going through no more hands. I'll just go through and make sure that uh, our last kind of, uh, I, you know, uh, scroll through. Maria, I see you. Ryan Smith, I see you. David, uh, Shavia, Sh Siva, I think that is. Uh, you know, I'm just going through the names, just saying, Mario, I see you. Uh, I see a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> <Robert>. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm just going through. So listen, uh, it is uh, six thirty. Uh, we only wanted this to be a quick uh, touch point for all our people. You know, we are here. Uh, we love doing this. Uh, it is a, a you know, it, it, we really have to thank Dr. Rich Wine for continuing to keep this symposium alive. So thank you. It is all done to you, Dr. Rich. Uh, so. Yes, indeed. You deserve it, Rich. And, and with that, guys, I will call it <laughs> fist bump. So we look forward to seeing everyone in 2022 in Boston. And if you can't make it in Boston, please, we'll probably have the same Hoover platform. Do join virtually and you'll see us live as well. Okay. All right. So guys, one day thanks, of everyone. rest for you, Robert. <laughs> yes. One day of rest. <laughs> well, one day, yeah, yeah, or half a day at least. But, no, uh, no yeah. days. No, Robert isn't resting. He's going right to work after he hangs out. Well, uh, Friday at least, you know. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yes, yes. I go. I'll go do my workout now. So, guys, uh, God bless everyone. Uh, have a safe journey. Thank Bye, you, everybody. To everyone. Ciao. See you. Ciao. Bye. Cheerio. Adios. Adios. Sayonara. Sayonara. Thank thank any language you want. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, guys. Uh, Adios. Bye, bye. Thank Adios. you. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 Excellent, excellent. Christine, good luck for uh, the conference in Europe in 2022. Yes, yeah, you're on, you're on mute. I can see you there, but good luck. So MVP team, thank, thank you very you. much indeed. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, Christine, you're welcome. Christine was talk. Christine is a talk. Well, she just said, she just said thank you. So she just came on the microphone to say thank you. So uh, guys, few other people will just stay on. We're the people that turn the lights out. So. You know, as soon as you uh, sign off, then that means I can call it a day. So, Sammy, thank you very much indeed for all your support. Excellent. Appreciate it. Wu Young, appreciate that. Sherry Sargent, you and I have to have a chat. we got to get our keynote scheduled for next year. Yes? Sherry, yes, keynote next year. Wu Young, yes, definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for all your help and for all the Fusion Alliance help. Please give our regards to David. I know Mark and the team. So you guys were awesome. Awesome. Oh, God bless you. I love it. It's my favorite conference in the world. And we will get someone from Antarctica and we will get your friend from public broadcasting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Just between you and I, keep it secret until we announce it. Okay. Right. You got it. Thanks, Sherry. Have a great evening. Thank you. You too. Bye.
All right. Who else is uh, everyone else gone, or are we still waiting for a few people? Sonny, you can drop. We're waiting for we waiting for Wu Yang's proceeding link. Hi, Zhenjian. Hey, Sonny. Zhenjian. Bye. All right. So, Carl, uh, what can I say? A poster child. Thank you very much indeed. You know. Oh, no, send out another. Uh, I can oh, send out colleague. another link in um, in WhatsApp if you want to. No, no, no. We're we're good. We'll just you know okay. this is the guys. This is just between the family, right? So and Gertrude and Ashley and Mayeth and Pamela, you know, and, and the MVP team. What can I say? You guys have made this just an awesome event. You heard what everyone said, right? You know, just we we exceeded our best, uh, you know, efforts. Just exceeded it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was. Uh, it was great, uh, you know, and uh, and I'm all for having you guys, you know, uh, back, you know, in person next year where we'll have a lot more fun uh, and do this if you guys are game for it. So uh, much appreciated. I, I can't we have the youngest attendee, John Henry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> John Henry, yes. Uh, Gertrude and Ashley, you know, again, uh, you know, Gertrude, hats off to you. Hi. Hats off to you. <laughs> you. With sure. a new baby in tow, you just, you just made it. Uh, Gertrude, I, you know, it, it goes from rich to me to you, and I could not do what I do without the support of you. Ashley, Pamela, and Mayeth. So thank you guys. I was going to say, but Robert, you are the secret. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a happy, happy-go-lucky kind of guy, right? So it just happened to fall into a, you know, a, a situation where I go, you know, Rich, nine years ago, I wasn't going to come back. <laughs> so I did one year ago. No, no, this isn't for me. No, 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 this is, this is crazy. You guys don't know how to run a conference, right? So nine years, and they, look at me nine years later, so... All right, uh, it is time for me to grab some dinner, 9.30, do a workout uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.